spice it. Spice them cereals out. A little bit too close to the end of the CVs. Bit of tail pipe. Ta bit of tail shaft. Some fine in the joint there, do it. Mm, just a tail shaft out of a car. Put you that up, that is. Make this washer. Made two washers to space the side seals out of a VE VF Commodore differential because this LSD has a lot of slop in the side gears so when you put the half shaft in or the axle or whatever you want to bloody call it it goes in and there's all this slop and that diameter there where the seal runs see oh Jesus Christ you can see how the seal has been running just there where my fingernail is see that mark that's where the seal's been running and then a, a couple of mil up and you've got this chamfer and if the seal runs on that chamfer all this diff oil will pour out of the diff and the diff will seize up and just melt to pieces so yeah went down in there that one there so he spaced it out how much dad? two mil two. And then you've got another one there. Another one here. Another, yeah, spacing that oil seal out. CV joint. The seals come very close to there, an unground area in the standard carrier. And on this particular carrier, which power tracks grip. Notice that the uh, this CV joint was coming out about one and a half mil more from the bearing compared to carriers. And a comparison it was um, 27 mil. One was coming out 28 and a half. So there's a big chance one side was incorrect. One and a half mil might be running on that buddy just turn diameter. They should have ground this all the way along. It's very touch and go whether those seals would seal otherwise. So anyway, there's room to move these out even three mil. You can see. If you look at this one. Look at that. Seal could be there, couldn't it? It's way up here. Way up here approaching that machined diameter instead of the ground diameter. So you can move that back even three mil. You heard it. So anyway we'll put, put, cover all this now. I'll just shut that down. Get the ship. It's going. And this is the shit does you buy one of these replacement LSDs you've got to start repairing it. I paid a thousand dollars for this unit but we had to bush these journals back. These had to be bushed back because there's too much clearance in the bore. CVs are slopping all around the joint. So you bored it out because it was oversized to put that bush in there. So it's kind of got a couple of thou, two or three thou clearance. See that bush there? Because they're, they're made oversized, they're all sloppy. Had to uh, take the side gears out and, and give them more lead because they're catching the uh, they're catching the circlips. Circlips uh, drop down on these CVs. Sharp edge of the side gear was catching the lead wasn't big enough, so to catch there and you people start smashing them, bust these circlips in half. You run the risk off. I just want to be able to buy something that I can put a cram wheel on and a pair of bearings and put the thing in the dip. Just spent two days fixing this thing. When you tell these people the mistakes they've made, they don't even give you the courtesy of a, a reply. 
They must be all running around like chooks with their heads off or something in these joints. <laughs> Going to mass production and making thousand, t thousand of them at a time. They're all making just mistakes. So yeah, he just wants to buy something that's made right, but this is made wrong. It's a good design, but it's not finished up properly. Hmm. Yeah. Just gets you into trouble, all this shit. You don't go and thoroughly check it out before you go to use it. Actually, you've got blokes of people ringing you up saying, Oh, I mean, oil's coming out of the side of the car. I don't know where it's from, the diff. Can I bring the car back to you and um, get you to fix it? I know I fitted the diff, but, you know, it's not my fault. Now, they're all right. It's got the spaces. All we've got to do, I suppose it won't hurt to put some junk on this part as well, will it? No. Yeah. I'll turn this off now, okay? All right.